Hey everybody, welcome to another wonderful episode of the Caregiver and Spoonie podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Banderas. And just real quick, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of the podcast. And also thank you for all your emails, your support, your your likes on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. And pretty much thank you for being a supporter of this, my dream. And it's also I'm trying to help people as well. So it's literally our dream. This is going to be for a community. Now, I wanted to talk about this today because I saw this news yesterday about the uh, Twitch streamer. Her name was Lania or Olana. That's how she was going for. And unfortunately, she passed away due to suicide. One of the things that I want to ask you in for this episode this is pretty much going to be the 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 episode for today is like the question is do you have a good support system the reason why i'm asking is because what, before this um streamer passed away or committed suicide unfortunately she ended up taking her own life she wrote this it says depressed people struggle to reach out in fear the ones closest to them will have cops show up and forcefully confine them against their will. So they're stuck feeling alone with their dark thoughts because they don't want to be trapped when they just feel worse. So sometimes even our own support system actually makes it worse. And I started thinking back about it when my wife was going to something similar where where she was so depressed that I honestly thought that I was going to walk in one day in the apartment and she was just going to be laying there. That's where I thought it happened. She tried to uh, commit suicide and I have talked about that. And I realized like, you know what? You have to have a good support system. If you don't have a good support system like this person mentioned pretty much, you're going to feel worse because you're going to feel alone. You're going to feel alone. You're going to feel like you can't talk to anybody. You can't express yourself. What You can't talk about what's going on in your mind. Like she mentioned, your dark thoughts. And you're just going to keep them to yourself. Like I mean, I shared this story on, on Facebook about the kid that is like 10 or 11. And this is true. I know the kid. Um, he said, uh, he has talked to a few people that... And he says that he has dreams of him cutting himself. And his parents don't want to do anything about it. And, uh, and, and then I saw this with this person. And I'm like, everybody ne needs a good support system. And then I started thinking about my even my own situation. Who was my support system? Before I made my wife, I didn't have a support system. That's why I was so angry. I was always angry. I was like literally trying to suppress my feelings and it obviously wasn't working and then I, I met my wife we went through a rough patch I worked things out because I was able to go to therapy and then she became my support system then she became ill she got uh, depression and she had her own um, health issues and obviously that brought the depression and I was wondering I was like who was her support system her support system was me and after reading this from from this Twitch streamer, I was like, any time that she that she said like she was feeling depressed, I tried to listen. Any time, every time that I would ask her like, uh, what's going on? Like, how are you feeling? And she will say depressed, or 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 she will uh, tell me anything. I will be like, okay, if you want to talk about something, I'm here for you. I, it never crossed in my mind or it never crossed into my mind to call the cops just because she was saying that she was feeling suicidal. I was scared. I was scared. That's going to be the thing. I was scared. But I was like, hey, if you need to talk, call me. I'm at work. Call me. Text me. I, if I have to leave work, I'll be here for you. And, she, and, and it took her a long time to understand that. But she, at one point, uh, and I'm grateful for that, she realized that I'm her support system and I'm here to stay. And that's what happens a lot of times. I've been talking to a lot of people about this. And they don't feel like they have a good support system. And the reason why they don't feel like they have a, a good support system is because the biggest issue, 
if you know somebody that, that is trying to be your support system, let them listen to this because they might be able to understand it from a different perspective. They might not see it this way, but they might be able to understand and be like, oh, I, I kind of see it. One of, the th one of the biggest problems with your support system is that they don't listen. They don't want to... I mean, they do want to listen, but for some reason, they try to interject all the time. They interject all the time. I used to do it with my wife. And when I realized that what I was doing was wrong, I decided to just say, you know what? I need to shut up and I need to listen. I need to listen to what she's saying. That way she feels or she can feel that I'm listening. And that way she knows that I'm here for her. Because if I cut her off and I give my opinion... I'm not giving her uh, the help that she needs. I'm, I'm actually hurting her because she's just going to feel frustrated and she's just going to be like, well, she doesn't want to listen to me. So that took time. It takes time to understand that, but you can do it. Especially if you're the support system. Like if you're a caregiver, you need to be the support system. You need to listen. Don't interject. Let them express their feelings. Almost like what this person was saying. Uh, unfortunately, she... Nobody listened to her and she ended up um, taking her own life because she, because of what message, uh, of that message that she put on, I think it was on uh, Twitter. The way that I understand it from my perspective is that anytime that she, she will try to talk to somebody about what was going on in her mind, they will call the cops or they will be like, oh, you need to be sent to the hospital. You need to put on suicide watch. But that's not, the, that's not what needs to happen. The, the person that is suffering, in this case from depression or or some kind of issue that that brings depression, they need to feel heard. They need to know that you're there for them. They need to know that you will be there for uh, to listen. Because, like I mentioned, that's the biggest issue. I had my own problems with listening. Like I will, like I, like I just mentioned as well. I will cut off my wife, and but then I, when I realized that that was wrong, I was like, at the end, when she was finally done talking about how she was feeling, I was like, do you want my opinion? And then if she says yes, then I will give my opinion. If she says no, I will be okay with it. Like also, you ha if you're the if you're the support system, you have to put your ego down. You have to literally remove your ego from this equation because your your ego is going to try to be like oh i can fix this oh i know i know about this but you don't know about the person the 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 other person's situation you don't know exactly how they feel we need to understand that we don't know how the other person feels and just because we're we're trying to listen to them that doesn't mean that we know how they actually feel that's why we have to have we have to have a good support system and we have to be a good support system. And another thing, if you're part of the support system, don't criticize. That's what that that's one of the worst things. My my I not me, my wife has had a few friends that have been in her support system, but then they start to criticize my wife because the of things that she has done, of the things that, that she's doing to get better. And I told my wife, it's like, that's not a good support system. That's not even, that you're not even supposed to call people like that your friends because they know you're sick. They know you're depressed. They know what's going on. You're trying to talk to them about what's going on in your mind, that you're having all these um, negative thoughts and they start to criticize you. What's going to happen? That's going to actually cause, that's going to make the issue bigger. They're going to shut down. The spoonie is going to shut down and then something that you might that that everybody's going to regret might happen in this case they might take their life let's just be honest <laughs> but that's because we don't want to listen we want to interject we want to try to fix the problem but it's not our problem to fix it's just what they what the spoonie wants is just somebody to listen to them and we need to understand that and i know this sounds repetitive we always need to understand this <laughs> the spoonie needs to be uh heard and that's one of the things that I, I I want to make people understand that if you're somebody's support system, you might be their last lifeline. They might be trying to talk to you because they don't know what else to do. And if you don't listen, you're not 
being a good support system. You're just being another person that either is criticizing them or that is not listening to them. So what you just need to do, and and I don't care if you get offended, you just need to shut up and listen. I learned that the hard way when my wife told me, it's like, hey, you need to shut up and listen. And I was like, okay. And if the spoon is also listening to this, you need to tell them as well. You need to set your boundaries in regards to your support system. If your support system criticizes you or tries to put you down or tries to fix the issue for you, but you know that what they're doing is not going to help, just tell them, hey, I just want you to listen. Just shut up and listen. If I want your opinion, I will ask. But right now, just listen. I just need somebody to talk to. I just want somebody to uh, listen to me. Just do it that way. And... If you feel like your support system, it could be your spouse, your friend, whatever, your caregiver, whoever it is, is not doing a good job, kick them out. They, you don't need to you don't need to keep somebody that's that's not gonna offer you the support that you need just because there's nobody else. You might be able to find somebody else. That's why I created the the uh, the community, the caregiver and spoonie community, because I know how hard it is. For somebody to listen to you. Nobody listened to me growing up. I have talked about this in my in, in my blog. Nobody ever listened to me. So I was angry because of that. And then when my wife finally started listening to me. It was like weird. So it will feel weird if somebody listens to you. And actually cares about you. But you need to have somebody that actually does that. You need to sometimes put your guard down as well if you're the spoonie and facing depression. Don't don't. One of the things that uh, that helped me and my wife to be able to talk to each other is that she will say like, "I don't want to feel judged," and I always tell her like, "I'm not judging you. I will never judge you," because she knows my past. You guys know my past if you listen to to my to my uh, blog. I was a bully. I've been fighting all the time. Like it was, on, I was on fight mode, and I will talk more about that in another episode. But I was always on fight mode. I was very aggressive. I was I wasn't a nice person. So she knows about that, and she never judged me. So why would I judge her? And 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 one thing that I want you to think about right now, especially if you're the support system, if the spoonie never judges you and listen and always listens to all your crap like i broke up with my boyfriend believe me i've done that i brought not me i've been the listener okay uh i i had people before that he's like i woke up with i broke up with my boyfriend they were ca- crying and i'm like trying to calm them down you know giving them support but when it's when it's the other way around they don't you don't actually support them then you're not a good support system you need to leave them alone because you're just using them for your own good. No, you're 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 not reciprocating the same thing that they're giving you, which is somebody to listen to, somebody that will listen to you. I mean, that that you're not doing the same thing, so you're just gonna end up hurting them. And then, and then this is another thing that pisses me off when, unfortunately, let's say like the spoonie ends up taking her life. Then people like, especially people, I know, and I've seen, and that's why I get so mad about it because people that are on on their support system and people that that the spoonie tries to talk to about what's going on before they decide to take the 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 only option left, which unfortunately is suicide. They're like, oh, he, he this person never talked to me, and it's like, no, she tried, he or she tried. But you didn't listen, and you, and then you blame it on on the person that unfortunately is already dead. It's like the worst thing that can happen because you're literally kicking them when they're down after they pass away. So, if you're a support system, just shut up and listen. Literally, you just have to shut up and listen, and then at the end, just ask, "Do you want my opinion?" And always remember, you're you're not there to fix the issue. Don't try to fix the issue. Just listen, give your opinion, give your perspective. Give your perspective. Don't try to fix the problem, just give your perspective. And the spoonie is the one that is supposed to fix the problem, not you. You're just supposed to help them fix the problem. Don't, don't fix it for them. Help them. 
when you give them an, an opinion, when you give them your, your perspective, they might be able to understand a different perspective and say like, hmm, actually that makes sense. That's why they have you in their, in their, in their, um, in their support system. But by you not listening, you're not giving them, they, for one, they don't feel heard. And for, and second, you're, you might not be able to even listen correctly. So you're not paying attention to the whole topic of the, of the conversation that the spoon is trying to give, you know? And also put your ego down. You're not, you don't know anything about the situation. You don't know how it feels. You don't know anything. Just act like you don't know anything and that you want to learn about that person's situation, you know? That's one of the things that I have done with my wife. That's one of the things that actually has helped us to communicate better. That's one of the things that I think has helped her in, in her recovery because she's doing a lot better. So that's why I wanted to share this with you because after I saw that, um, that, that, that message from, from it was, I, I wouldn't even say the last message. I will say the last cry for help. That was her last cry for help. Unfortunately, she ended up taking her life. That's why I wanted to share this because especially now with everything that's going on, people are stuck at home. People are suffering mentally. So we have to work together. We have to listen to each other. There's a lot of people that you might not even know that are suffering inside. So if you are trying to be a, somebody's support system, always ask them, like, how are you? What's going on? If you need to talk, I'm here. I'll just shut up. Let them know. So that's what I had for you today. I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes. This is this is a very personal episode, actually. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for sharing your stories. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook. You can submit uh, f Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And remember that you can always share your stories at thecaregiverandspoonie at gmail.com. And as always, always have a great... Uh, Always take care of yourself. I almost changed my own, my own motto. All right. Have a great day.